Thanks for staying with us and it's now time for the business day. The International Monetary Fund IMF says the global economy could lose up to $4 trillion between now and 2026 due to economic slowdown. The entity's managing director made the revelation at a recent forum. Javon Keyes reports. Countries around the world are bracing for tighter economic conditions, with more projections indicating the increased likelihood of a recession in a number of states. Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund IMF, Kristalina Georgieva, says a large portion of global gross domestic product GDP could be stripped away due to economic contraction. The risk of recession has gone up. We have calculated that uh, about one-third equivalent of the world economy would have at least two consecutive quarters of negative growth this year, next year, and that the total amount that would be wiped out by the slowdown of the world economy uh, is going to be between now and 2026, four trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. This is the size of Germany GDP gone she says multiple factors could drive a recession. The impact of COVID on supply chains, the, the senseless war that is causing a push of prices, uh, especially energy and food prices, uh, and major disruptions uh, uh, as, as a result in how economies uh, function. The prices going up, inflation that is stubbornly high, and necessitates tightening of financial conditions uh, that has gone faster than originally, than originally anticipated. Ms. Georgieva says rising gas and oil prices, slowing job markets and the volatility of the housing market are threats to growth in larger economies, which will have a knock-on effect in smaller developing states. But what can be done to control the slowdown? Uh, what we are advocating uh, for, uh, uh, David, are uh, actions in three areas. First, contain inflation. Uh, we cannot afford inflation to be a runaway uh, train. Secondly, it is painful for people, so some support is necessary, but that support has to be well targeted because if it is not, then we are adding fuel to the flames of inflation. She says more support for developing states will be critical to help avoid a global recession and stem the debt crisis. For the Business Day, I'm Javon Keyes.